First off, best wishes to Gary and his family for a quick and speedy recovery. Uh, since I was on their bye week, <clears throat> since I was on their bye week, another team in the state is going to pick up the slack honoring the Iowa uh, Children's Hospital. One, one Facebook post went viral prompting the Iowa State Cyclones to turn and wave in the direction of the Iowa Children's Hospital during their game this weekend against Kansas. And I just have one thing to say, and it's probably the first time I'm ever going to say it. Well done, Cyclones. Well done. Sophomore goalkeeper Claire Graves of the Iowa Hawkeye women's soccer team won Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week for her two shutout performances against Maryland, where she had five big saves and four more against a 23rd-ranked Rutgers team. Iowa won both those games. The Hawks' next Big Ten matchup is in Bloomington against the Indiana Hoosiers on Thursday. The Iowa volleyball team is coming off a tough loss from number four ranked Nebraska, but they look to turn it around tonight against Indiana. Daily Iowans Taylor Van Fleet has more. Iowa volleyball heads into Bloomington tonight where they will face the Hoosiers who have yet to get a win in the Big Ten. The Hawks won't be looking into that too much though as they know there is no win that comes easy in this conference. Every team in the Big Ten is really strong uh, playing on the road, especially a place like Indiana. They have a really great environment um, and they're a team that's desperate for a conference win right now uh, after a really hot uh, pre-conference start in their season. They had a really good preseason. They've been struggling some in a Big Ten play, so I think that's a really good opportunity for us to just capitalize on that and prove that we are the better team. They've been super competitive in league play. It's not like they're getting blown out. Um, they just haven't quite scratched the W yet. So. Um, you know, we're expecting them to really bring everything they've got. Obviously, we've been playing a lot of top 10, top 25 opponents, so it's kind of nice to play somebody who's not ranked and just prove ourselves. It will be a little bit of a relief for the Hawks to finally face a team who isn't ranked in the top 25, but that's why it's so important for them to go there and get the victory. Reporting for Iowa Volleyball, this has been Taylor Van Fleet with Daily Iowan TV Sports. The Hawks will travel to Bloomington to take on the Hoosiers tonight at 7 o'clock. The Iowa men's golf team hit the links in Evanston this past weekend for the Wyndon Memorial Classic. The Hawks finished 7th out of 15 teams with a 54-hole score of 850. Sophomore Alex Shockey led the way for the Hawks, finishing 5th with a final score of 2-under. This is Shockey's second top 5 finish this year. Iowa's next tournament is October 23rd and 24th at the Royal Oaks Intercollegiate in Dallas, Texas. Softball wrapped up their fall ball season this past weekend when they nor welcomed Northern Illinois to town for a doubleheader on Sunday. Game one was highlighted by NIU scoring four runs in the top of the sixth inning, leading to a 6-2 Husky victory. In game two, right after the Hawks could not get it going as Northern Illinois took that game 5-3. Here's what some of the team had to say about their here's what some of the team had to say about their transition into the offseason. All the young ladies there, we're in charge of our own destiny, and the way we're cruising is not going to benefit us in the spring, so we've got to figure out how to be great. Right now, we're good in some areas, not so good in others. We've got to get a lot of people out of that dugout and, and healed uh, so we can really get after it, and uh, this offseason is a great time for us to grow. I think after this fall, we've kind of uh, found out like where we are and what we need to work on, so I think the girls are ready to get after it, um, whether it's at weights or working on defense or pitching or hitting or whatever it is. The Hawks finished up the fall season with a record of three wins, three losses, and a tie. Now the Iowa baseball team is finishing its fall season with the Black and Gold World Series game at Game 1 this afternoon. First pitch is at 3.30. Game 2 will be tomorrow at the same time. And if necessary, a Game 3 will be at the tiebreaker held on Friday, also at 3.30. The Hawks are 9-5 and five headed into their inner squad game tonight. We'll have more on that next week. Make sure to tune in tomorrow for updates on Iowa football, even though this Saturday is a bye week for the team. And updates from Iowa field hockey and how they did this weekend against Duke. Back to you two at the desk.